And welcome back to the Flow Sports Fix. It's time to join the Flow Man and get his look at local football games that were played over the weekend. Weekend competitions getting started. The Barossa Light and Gawler, where uh, a little bit of a Crows and Power flavour for you on the BLNG opening matches. And then in River Murray, we're going to take a look at the pace setters. At the bottom side from last year and for the last number of years, Tail and Bend are on top of the table in River Murray. They're our key pointers today in the Sports Fix. Let's go to the B, L and G and results. Uh, Justin Westoff, former Port Power player, has returned to Tanunda and as he has, uh, they have returned to winning form after being uh, pretty much out of sorts last year. The Magpies 18-10-118 to Capunda 7-16-58. The poor old Bombers um, outclassed there. But on the Crows flavour side, we had Andrew Jarman coaching Williston for the first time and Jars, well, known for the crow throw, he threw a spanner into the works of last year's Premier Gawler Central when his side got up and won comfortably 13-14-92 to 7-9-51 it was a 7 goal near win by the Williston Donny Brooks over the arch rival Gawler Central to start their BLNG season. Other matches a close one, South Gawler 6-15-51 over Neary Rover 7-6-48 and Anguston thrashing Barossa Districts 20 goals 18 138 they look the goods Anguston with some pretty good players in their side um, too good for uh, their opposition they're a massive win in round one action by 100 points that's it 100 points and uh, gee Summerton uh, in great form Argent playing well Shannon 5 and Durden 4 for the winners in that competition Let's go to River Murray, Tail and Bend. Who would have thought it after three rounds have been the bottom of the barrel, but now they're the trend and pace setters of the River Murray. 14, 17, 101, beating Manham 4, 6, 30 comprehensively, if you don't mind, and they have done that in their first three matches. They've recruited well, and look at the goods right now, the Eagles. It's early days, though, as Ramblers got off to a win after beating Mike Palonga 9, 11, 65 to 7, 3, 4. 45. So, gee, Ramblers um, just hanging in there, aren't they, uh, with that win uh, in the, the first three matches? And then Jervois, 18 12, 120, beat Meningi, 4 7 31. Poor Meningi, I think, a long season ahead for them in this competition. Uh, it is a good start to the 2021 season. It certainly is, and it's going to be a great season to everyone's looking forward to it, as is the Flow Man, and he'll be giving us results and details on the Sports Fix Monday to Thursday, it's right here on Flow and then giving us more details and more things that are going on with local football and netball on the Flow Sports Show on Friday. But right now it's time to have a look at what's going on in North Central football and a goal that was disallowed and, well, the Flow Man will give us all the details. In North Central football in Victoria, the furore that's, well, gone across the nation uh, in terms of sports reports. It was a Donald Royal Blues game versus Wedderburn, the first match of the North Central season. And Brendan Goss um, kicked a goal after the siren. It was disallowed by the field umpire as uh, he believed that Goss had played on in the action of kicking the goal. The problem then being that the scores were still then locked together. A drawn game, I suppose. No one wins in these situations. The Donald Royal Blues, 9-2-56. Wedderburn, 8-8-56. I'm sure Ricky Allen will have more for us on Friday night on that topic. Ricky Allen will have more for us on Witcher Proof Narraport, 5-10-40, beating the old foe Charlton, 4-7-31 in a low-scoring match. And, gee, that's great for Witcher Proof Narraport, who struggled in the 2019 season at the bottom of the table in that year. And what about this? Sir Bertrand Watchman, 15-11-101, the big score for them over Sananad, 4-1-25, while in the final match, the defending premiers of 2019, Sea Lake Nandaly Tigers, 13-21-99, beating Bort, 2-9-21. Over in Horsham, District Football and Eden Ope Apsley, 13-10-88, were too good for La Harum, 7-3-45. Harrow the 2019 premiers, 26-11, thrashing Pimpinayo, 3 Three goals, six. You reckon there'll be more of the same from Harrow by Morrill this year. Can I believe yours entrance into Horsham District wasn't um, as bright as one would have liked. 15 25, 115 to the Cow Key. Your boys beating Caniva Lior 9 11 65. Rapania might be the side to watch this year 22 13, 145. Natimak 5 6 36. And Rachel Quantong 11 11 77 over the Swifts 4 6 30. And Japarit Rainbow 10 14 74. 
Taylor's Lake, 6945. Good effort there by the Storm boys in that the reserve grade Japan Rainbow Storm were beaten by a couple of goals by Taylor's Lake there, 7 8 to 5 8. So good effort there from the Lakers coming in. The 17 year old age group, uh, there was um, that no game played here um, due to a forfeit from Taylor's Lake. And in the kids running around first thing in the morning, although they were running around a bit later because the under 14s started later, Japarit Rainbow Storm were beaten in a pretty good contest though. So, um, it was 8 goals, 9 57 to the Lakers uh, over Japarit Rainbow, 5 8. 38. Meanwhile, heading further north into New South Wales and in Farrah football, it was Charles Sturt University 11 9 75 beating Collie Amberley Blues 6 8 44 and the Rock Yarran Creek Maggies 11 6 72 beating East Wagga Karingal 8 9 57. Wins to the Mara Bombers over the Northern Jets and a massive win for the North Wagga Saints over the Tamora Kangaroos in that grade. So that is a look across regional Victoria. New South Wales on our Sports Fix at Footy Matches of the Weekend. Thank you, Flo Man, and he'll be back again tomorrow on the Flow Sports Fix, bringing you local football results and other bits of information, so make sure you're listening out on the Sports Fix tomorrow. Up next, though, is the Stat Man. What's he got for us? You'll just have to wait and hear.